my name is mayank sailot and my id is 20140160 here i present exosome based cancer immunity so i can i present this we have tried to develop a mathematical model to study the interplay between the cancer and the immune system let's talk about the important components of the model cancer and immune system so there are three important components the first is the cancer cells and the second is the dendritic cell and the third one is the killer cells so basically in the cdk model c represents the cancer cell interacting or dealing with the immune system d r for the immature or rather mature tumor based antigens and the killer cell can be taken as the component of the cytotoxic cell helper t cells and effector b cells they also compromise the natural killer cells the whole theory behind the working of this interplay system is that the killer cells k will act as an inhibitors to the cancer cell c only when they are activated by the dendritic cell d now the question is who is the commutator and the answer is exosomes the exosome are the tiny packets that play a significant role in carrying out the transport of signals and information between the three cells so basically the dendritic cells sign uh, send signal packet in the exosomes that enables the killer cell to act upon the cancer cells and again the killing process is facilitated by the exosomes carrying the killing cells now we are just drawing the basic communication between these three cells the cancer cells the dendritic cell and the killer cell so in this figure the lines end up in arrows or in a bar the arrow sign represents an activation while the bar sign represent the inhibition according to previous figure we can conclude that the c cells activate themselves and the d cells activate themselves also and the c activates d when concentration of c is small and the c inhibits d when concentration of c cells is larger and the d inhibits c d activates k k activates d and the c inhibits k and the k inhibits c from the previous figure we derive differential equation for cdk model so there are three equations the in the first equation the rate of change of c with time shows that the activation of c is proliferated by c while the activation of c at the same time suffers apoptosis made by the d and k cells the notation hcc represent that c activates c c 
CH DC represents the deactivate C indirectly through C as a path DCC suggests and so on. The aptos uh, the apoptosis rates are said to be negative since the turn in the cell population to decrease. In equation 2, activation of T is proliferated by D, activation of D is proliferated by K, inhibition of a part of T, D1 is proliferated by C, while activation of the rest part of D, D2, is proliferated by C. The population of T suffers apoptosis. In equation 3, activation of a part of K, K1, is done indirectly by C through D, while inhibition of part of K, K2, is uh, proliferated by C. The activation of the remaining part of K, K3, suffers apoptosis indirectly by C through K itself. All these equations determine how the concentration of the three cells are changing with respect to the time and entire interplay. Here we bring in a parameter rho, which is called the immunorecognition parameter. The interaction of K and D with C depends upon this parameter. If this parameter is zero, that is rho is equal to 0, the K and D cells cannot recognize the C cells and provide the immunity. Hence, immune system do not function. When rho is equal to 1, the immune recognition is enabled and the C cells are recognized by the D and uh, We are talking about the parameters of the differential equation on CDK model. GC0, GD0 and GK0 are the basal pro Proliferation rates Kc, Kd and Kk are the apoptosis rates and the H is the Hail function where the lambda plus denotes the activation and lambda minus denotes the inhibition. From the differential equation, we are getting this uh, graph between uh, cancer cells and the dendritic cell. The graph illustrates the concentration of dendritic cell versus the concentration of cancer cells. There are six points on the graph labeled as A, B, C, D, E and F. The points A and F are the saddle points that is the minimum and maximum points whereas the points B, C, D, E are the stable points. The stable points are the one that kept the concentration of the C cell under control and hence the state is called stable. There might come a point where the cancer cell concentration reaches the peak and that makes the D cells defined to release exosomes. This is the unstable saddle point and causes the cancer treatment under unfeasible making cancer fighting back difficult.